All right, heads up for anyone planning on hitting Folsom Lake. Raw sewage, as we broke this story last night at 10, leaking into the water. Yeah, yuck to hear about that. A pipe in El Dorado Hills off of Green Valley Road started leaking that sewage, then ended up in Brown's Ravine. It's a story you saw first on CBS 13. Tori Abadaka was on it last night, and your reporter covering Sacramento County uh, is venturing out to the Folsom Lake area. Tori, not many are aware of the stinky situation. What's up with that? That's exactly right, and that's really because officials have really been warning people about this issue by word of mouth until those test results on the water comes back. But as you can see behind me, what's new today is those barricades. You can see one of them in the distance that has a danger sign posted on it in this Browns Ravine Marina era area. And this is even though State Parks has known about this problem since Sunday night, they were just posted today. Pump trucks sucking up sewage out of Folsom Lake Tuesday. You guys didn't notice any of the signs? No, I blew right past all this. Yeah, no signs. I didn't see any, I didn't notice any signs. Officials put up red tags on trees that read danger Monday and added some barricades Tuesday. Yet every person I spoke with on the lake hadn't heard anything about the feces flowing into the water. I'm surprised we didn't hear about it at the front uh, pay station. CBS 13 was first to confirm that a pipe started leaking the brown water into Brown's Ravine after a concerned caller told us. It's like that uh, river in, in uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory that Augustus Gloop fell in, except it's not chocolate. The stinky sewage seeped into the lake and a nearby cul-de-sac. And it was brown with stuff floating in it and it was bunching up in certain driveways. The El Dorado Irrigation District says the state only requires them to test the water in the spill area. In this case, the Marina Cove at Brown's Ravine. I don't know how many days it will take. We will, we will continually test until we get the all clear. State Parks posted this advisory on its website following CBS 13's initial report, warning people to not touch the water at Browns Ravine Marina, but saying the areas of Folsom Lake beyond there are unaffected. Yeah, hopefully the tests show nothing wrong. Hopefully it was just like a small incident. This has been going on for over two hours now. But just how much sewage seeped in remains to be seen when the water tests come back. Now, the El Dorado Irrigation District is expecting those test results to come back sometime late tomorrow or early Thursday, and then a second round of results coming in on Monday. So at this time, they are warning everyone to stay out of this particular area of Browns Ravine, which is the Marina Cove.